Welcome back to Mason Talks. So Baker Mayfield has so far had a relatively up and down career in his time in the National Football League. As we all remember, Baker had a very good rookie season that gave a lot of Browns fans hope. His second season under the guidance of Freddie Kitchens was nowhere near as good. He seemed to have fallen off a cliff with many people giving up on him. And then in year three, Baker Mayfield bounced back and put together a very solid campaign for the Cleveland Browns in this past season. Baker threw 26 touchdown passes, 8 interceptions, 3,563 yards, and he, of course, led the Cleveland Browns to an 11-5 record and a playoff victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Baker's production has varied from year to year. Year one, he was really good. Year two, he was really bad. Year three, he was good yet again. So I think it's fair to ask the question and to ponder, what will Baker Mayfield look like in 2021? Will he continue to improve? Will he get a little bit worse? Will he stay kind of the same? And the premise and the main question that I want to ask in this video, will Baker Mayfield ascend to become a top 10 quarterback in 2021? My personal opinion is that there's a pretty good shot Baker Mayfield ends up being a top 10 quarterback this next season. And I have three three reasons for why I believe this, starting number one with the fact that to end the 2020 season, Baker appeared as though he was on an upward trajectory in terms of his play. Now, I know that there are a couple of games that don't necessarily represent this to the you know best degree. Obviously, when you look at that New York Jets game where Baker really wasn't able to produce anything, that was a dud even though he was missing his entire receiver's room. He didn't necessarily have the best game in the world in Week 17 against the Steelers, even though they were able to win that game and get into the playoffs. But then when you look at his playoff uh, numbers... Obviously, it seems as though he kind of had a second peak in that wild card matchup against the Steelers. His peak of the season was probably either the Bengals game in which he threw five touchdowns or the Titans game where he threw four touchdowns and led the uh, Browns to victory. But when you look at that victory against the Steelers and when you look at how well Baker played in that game and the fact that he took advantage of the Steelers basically not being ready to play... I think that was a very positive note for Baker to leave the Browns on ending the season, even though he didn't necessarily replicate those numbers against the Kansas City Chiefs. Baker Mayfield was on an upward trajectory to end the 2020 season, and for the first time in his career, he is going to have some consistency in terms of his coaching. Now, as we all know, Hugh Jackson was fired midway through Baker's rookie year. They hired Freddie Kitchens to start year two. You had a coaching change there. And then obviously they fired Freddie after year two. You had Kevin Stefanski to start year three. Baker Mayfield had a different head coach for every season in his career. That is not going to be the case in 2021. Kevin Stefanski, the NFL's coach of the year, is still going to be your coach this upcoming season. So Baker Mayfield's finally going to have some consistency at coaching. And to make things better, you are still going to have Alex Van Pelt being a key contributor to your offense. It's not just Kevin Stefanski sticking around. You've pretty much got the entire offensive coaching staff returning to support Baker Mayfield. And I think that that is going to really start to unlock some aspects of Baker's game that we haven't yet seen. And I think it's some stuff that we sort of started to see towards the end of the season. Now, I think Baker Mayfield is at his best when he's in a rhythm, when he knows the offense, when he's able to make 
uh, you know, anticipation throws. And the best way to be able to do that is to be 100% completely knowledgeable of your offense. And entering your second season of the Kevin Stefanski and Alex Van Pelt offense, obviously, as the starting quarterback of that team, you are going to be significantly more knowledgeable and you're going to have a much better grasp on the offense. Baker Mayfield is entering this offense for the second straight year, and I think that's going to show. I think he's going to have a much more firm grasp on what's going on, play in and play out. And quite frankly, that is one of the reasons as to why I kind of think the argument that some fans posed that, hey, maybe Alex Van Pelt should take over play calling since the Browns looked very good offensively against the Steelers in the wild card round. The one game uh, all season that Kevin Stefanski didn't call plays, you know, maybe because of that, Alex Van Pelt should get a look at being the play caller in 2021. I think that's completely ridiculous because if you're going to hand the reins to Alex Van Pelt, there are going to be cer- certain variations. There are going to be changes in your offense. And that would pretty much completely throw out the idea of a 100% season to season sort of consistency for Baker Mayfield. Because whether or not Kevin Stefanski and Alex Van Pelt run a similar offense, you're still changing the play caller. And I think that would be a dumb idea. You finally have some consistency with an offense that works, with a coach that knows what he's doing. Stick with it. And I think to make matters even worse for the rest of the NFL, Baker Mayfield is going to naturally have better weapons in 2021. Now, this past season, I thought that guys like Jarvis Landry, Rashard Higgins, Austin Hooper, David Njoku, I thought those guys stepped up and performed well, especially in the absence of Odell Beckham Jr. But I also think that when you look at this Browns team and you look at where they can improve offensively, one of the things that you need to start looking at is adding legitimate weapons that other defenses have to be afraid of. Because quite frankly, I don't think we really have any of those right now. I mean, you have good receivers, you have receivers who you can trust, but you know, even Jarvis Landry, who is basically an essential player for this Browns team in terms of what he brings to the culture, even Jarvis Landry isn't putting up gaudy numbers. Even Odell Beckham Jr. is not necessarily going to be putting up incredible numbers just because of his injury history and what kind of we've seen these past couple of seasons. I think the Browns are going to go out and I think they're going to look to acquire a big time receiver similarly as to what the Buffalo Bills did this past offseason when they went out and they brought in Stephon Diggs to be the number one receiver for Josh Allen. But also, I think you're going to see guys like Harrison Bryant and Donovan Peoples Jones, who were young receivers who show or, you know, young receiver and a tight end. Uh, who showed potential in their rookie year, I think it's it, it's safe to assume that they're going to be better in the second years of their career. Uh, the main question is going to be how much better can those guys be going into their sophomore seasons? You know, can Donovan Peoples-Jones kind of hit a stride and become a legitimate two or three receiver in the NFL? Can Harrison Bryant, you know, reach a level where maybe he's you know, outpacing Austin Hooper in terms of snaps just because he's that good as a receiving threat at tight end. We're going to have to see, but I think naturally and in terms of going out and getting guys through free agency and trades, I think the Browns receivers are going to be better. I think their offensive weapons are going to be better. I think their offensive unit as a whole is going to be better. And I think that going into 2021, Baker Mayfield is absolutely going to be better probably even a top 10 quarterback in the National Football League. But that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments, what are you expecting from Baker Mayfield this next season? Do you think Baker Mayfield will be a top 10 quarterback in 2021? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.